Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing lip serums. So if you want to hear my thoughts on lip serums, if I think they're necessary and I will demo and chat you through the ones in my collection, then keep on watching. So I think I remember lip serums bursting onto the beauty scene a couple of years back and even I, who loves to buy, read, use, <laughs> think about, dream about beauty products, kind of thought, mm, do I really need a serum for my lips or is this the beauty industry just getting us to buy something new? So I did a bit of research and it seems like the serums for lips are kind of equivalent to the serums for the face. So your lip balm would be like a facial moisturiser. It's occlusive, it traps moisture in and gives kind of a protective seal. Whereas serums, much like facial serums, contain high concentrations of active ingredients and penetrate further because they are a thinner texture. So are lip serums essential? No beauty products are really essential, but if you want to prioritise taking care of your lips to address um, short-term concerns or just protect them from ageing in the future, these serum formulas do penetrate deeper than the traditional lip balm. So, is it worth it? I don't know. I'll tell you in 12 years if my lips have not aged. So I've got the Fresh Sugar Wonder Drops, I've got the Natura Beast, diamond lip booster and I have the Verso lip serum. Let's get to testing. First we're going to look at the Fresh Sugar Lip Wonder Drops. Now this is £19.50 for 5 millilitres from the Fresh website and I'm not sure if you can see when if I drip it's like a bit of a thicker gel, I believed it's described as, but it's on the um, serum section of the Fresh website, so I'm including it in this video. And I will just pop a big drop onto my finger. It looks like this. So a little bit thicker than I would typically imagine a serum and I'm just going to pop that on. Now it has that fresh sugar smell that's in a lot of their products. It goes on a little bit tacky and as you can see gives a bit of a shine but this actually dries down very quickly to almost nothing. I'll read about the claims. It's actually described on the website as a primer, Sugar Wonder Drops Lip Primer, and this is said to be a first of its kind no rinse lip exfoliator that soothes dry rough patches with natural AHAs to leave lips silky soft and ready for colour. So they advise that you actually apply this before lipstick. I actually like to use this one at night since it's an exfoliator um, and you do wake up in the morning with nice smooth lips, but equally you can use this to create a smooth base for your lip colour. Maybe especially might like to use it if you're using matte or long wear lip colours that kind of cling onto any dry patches. This has 4.1 star rating on the website and it claims to exfoliate, prep and smooth. Tastes a little bit sugary as well, not that you should be licking your lips. So this liquid leave-on smoothing solution gently resurfaces and softens dry flaky lips on contact for a flawless look. Enriched with AHAs, a blend of sugar, natural fruit extracts and hibiscus flower extract, the water-based gel preps and primes lips for an even application of any lipstick or balm. So after a consumer study, 90% of people said their lips were immediately softer and it created an ideal canvas for lip balm and colour. 94% noticed it made their lip colour appear smoother and more even. 92% reported smoother lips. 91% said it improved their overall lip care ritual. 
84% noticed that their lip colour was more vibrant. Okay, so the superstar ingredient in this is sugar. As with a lot of the products from Fresh is Sugar range, it's got hibiscus. So the sugar and fruit extract blend helps to retexturize the lips while leaving them soft and radiant. Hibiscus flower extract gently helps to refine the look of the lips surface through non-mechanical exfoliation. So it's the chemical AHAs are exfoliating that should give a uniform smooth exfoliation to the lips rather than the um, hit and miss results you might get from a scrub. Just make sure you put an even layer over your lips. So dispense a drop and massage over clean lips and lip colour until it absorbs. Follow with your favourite lipstick for silky pigmented colour. The reviews are saying the best primer for your lips. Some people are on the fence. Some people claim it doesn't help. Some people claim it's fantastic. So an overall rating of four stars. Some people are not sure about its efficacy. I find this to be a gentle exfoliator, not a harsh scrub, which is maybe why some people are blown away from the results. But as you can see, while I've been talking, it's sunk in to almost nothing at all. Feels like nothing on the lips. Is this an essential? Absolutely not. Is it a nice product? Yes. The second product I'm going to talk about is the Natra Bis Diamond Lip Booster. Now, another serum here. This one is even more pricey than the Fresh products. If you've heard of the brand, you'll know all of their products are on the pricier side. And this one is no exception. This is £63 for 15 mils. I got this in a net porter advent calendar, so I'm really glad that I didn't pay the £63 for this little tube because that is not really in my budget. And even if it was, I'm not sure I'd pay £63 for a lip serum, to be honest. Diamond Lip Booster is a silky balm that minimises the appearance of wrinkles and dryness whilst adding instant suppleness to reveal fuller lips. A subtle gloss finish enhances your natural look and can work as a silky primer over lipstick or as a final slick. That's really interesting that it kind of works under or over lipstick. Because that other serum has dried in, I'm actually going to apply this on top so you can see what this one looks like. That serum from Fresh is totally sunk in, so the result you're going to see on my lips will purely be from this. So it's got that metal applicator, which is nice, and as you can see, you can just squeeze, so it's quite convenient. And I will add that to my lips. This one is thicker than the Fresh one. It feels nice and silky. And as you can see, gives a lovely gloss to the lips. I would wear this on maybe no makeup days. It just looks like a super shiny, clear gloss. I really like the way it looks. It says that it intensely hydrates and nourishes and adds a look of volume for plumper lips and it also smoothens, never heard that word before, and minimizes the appearance of lines and wrinkles. I'm not sure if that means instantly or over time. Any glossy product tends to minimise the look of lip lines, which is why I prefer glossy, shiny lipsticks or lip colours rather than the dreaded matte colours, which enhance any lines, so I would expect it to smooth out the lips. This contains omega-5 or punis acid to reduce the appearance and signs of lip aging whilst improving hydration levels to maximize suppleness. Turmeric oil and other antioxidants including vitamin E minimize the signs of premature aging. Natural vitamin F nourishes the skin to improve barrier function and reduce the appearance of damage caused by external aggressors. Capsium provides an instant plumping effect. Now there is a slight tingle, um, nothing crazy, nothing painful like some lip plumpers, but I can definitely feel 
that lip tingle plumping action. You can feel the blood rushing to your lips. So I'm expecting this to give a temporary plumping effect to lips, which is always welcome when you have thin lips like myself. Okay, so you're instructed to squeeze the product directly onto the lips and gently massage in with circular motions using the metal applicator provided. It says apply generously as often as necessary. Now, at £63 a tube, I wouldn't be applying this one too generously. So I might choose to use this if I was going for a natural makeup look and wanted my lips to look really nice. I might choose to apply this before bed as well because it's got a lot of those skincare ingredients and I might choose to put this on if I was having a night in with my boyfriend, felt silly putting makeup on but still wanted a nice plump juicy kissable looking pout. Is it worth £63? The reviews are really good but I guess that depends on you your budget, your feelings about paying extreme amounts of money for a lip serum. But people have given it a four star rating on the Space NK website. People are saying it gives gorgeous smooth lips, that it's expensive but worth it, that it's amazing, gorgeous if expensive. So a really, really nice, really high quality um, product that gives an instant boost to the appearance of lips and has those ingredients to work over time so quality but you pay for it for that one last but not least i have the verso lip serum with retinol 8 now this one is just a shade less expensive than the naturabase diamond lip booster this one is 55 pounds for 15 mils so a bargain right um i jest again i got this one in a minted box um i wouldn't be running to pay full price for a 55 pound lip serum however i was really excited when i saw that this had been released because i was just waiting for a lip product with retinol to be released i love getting the benefits of retinol on my face. It's one of the only proven anti-aging ingredients that is gonna minimize lines, and I have a lot of lines on my lips. Um, so I've been wondering why retinol hadn't been utilized in that area, and Verso did it. I don't actually know of any other lip treatments that contain retinol. So if you do, especially if you know of one a little bit more affordable, please let me know in the comments section below. Invest in your pout with youthful plumpness by smoothing on some Verso Lip Serum, a luxury treatment from the brand's specialist skincare collection developed to keep the mouth area looking contoured and smooth. It can also act on aged spots and fine lines. Imbued with eight times the nourishing power of standard retinol, wow, this serum provides a fresh burst of hydration to dry, thinning and lined lips. This star ingredient works with cells, spurring them on towards a younger looking appearance. For best results, massage a few drops of Verso Lip Serum around and on clean lips each morning and night. Allow to absorb for a few minutes, then continue with your usual lip balm or colour. So it claims to melt into the lips in minutes. It contains hyaluronic acid to deeply hydrate. Oh, it will last six to eight weeks at room temperature seems like I need to throw this one away then because I've probably had it longer than that and it claims to be an ideal base for lipstick. I do know this one also contains peptides as well. The six week claim has really thrown me. I'm guessing the retinol becomes inactive after six weeks. A £55 product that only lasts six weeks is never going to be my vibe. However, if you're bathing in bathtubs full of money, like Scrooge McDuck, then it might be for you. So I'll tell you about my experience of it. Um, I only wear this at night because sunlight deactivates retinol. Um, so I wouldn't waste my time putting this on during the day as it might make the product less efficacious. I have not noticed that it has completely got rid of my lip lines, but that's probably because 
have you <laughs> I haven't replaced the tube after six weeks um, it does make lips feel nice and smooth I personally wouldn't put it on around the lip area as they advise because um, it's a bit sticky and it doesn't feel very nice but if that doesn't bother you that might be something that you choose to do so yeah that's really thrown me that you have to use each tube within six weeks i don't know who would be using this but i will give you a bit of a demo i will remove the 63 pound lip serum so i can show you how this one looks on the lips things i do for you guys so this one's a bit thicker i would say oh, can you see that the consistency of this reminds me more of kind of a liquidy lip balm texture it's not as thin as the first two and it gives a nice juicy juicy look to the lips it's not as glossy as the natural base but it does have that kind of more sophisticated juicy kind of look to the lips which i think looks really nice like I say, I'd feel a bit uncomfortable with this texture all around my lips, but they do claim that you can use it. So maybe if you had um, more pronounced lines from smoking that you were really conscious about, you might want to slather this around your lips. Again, if you were super, super rich and wanted to get rid of your smoking lines. Um, but like I say, if you were really, really self-conscious and had the means to do it, more power to you. For me personally, I'm not as concerned about my lip lines that I'd be needing to spend silly money to try and do something about them. The product does have good reviews though. It's got an average of 4.6 star rating on the Space NK website. People are saying the results don't come quickly. People are saying that the price is high. People are saying they find it plumps the lips, that it's a hard-working lip balm. Reviews are positive. So again, I think it's a good product with a lot of sophisticated ingredients in. And again, the only lip product that I've seen with retinol in. So if that's something that you really, really want the benefits from, make sure you use your tube within six weeks. Um, maybe see how you've got on with that before you invest in another tube because it's a real 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 investment okay guys so they were all the three lip serums that i wanted to talk to you about today and i'll catch you on the next one bye